Hello, today we will be trying something new. As you can see from my snazzy introduction, I will be drawing an Egyptian boy. This picture is a picture from one of my sketches that I drew during class because, as a good nerd, I think about Egypt all the time. <laughs> Uh, I've never done this before. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a voiceover as I draw to hopefully keep it more interesting than it would be otherwise. Currently, I'm just outlining this picture, which is kind of obvious. I'm not sure exactly how to do a drawing like this. I have... I got a Wacom tablet. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's kind of like you can draw with it as if you're using a pencil. It's pretty cool, but I haven't really used it much and I haven't really used Photoshop to draw much. So most of this drawing is, to be honest, me just trying to figure out the program and uh, how it works. Well, if you would look carefully on the left side of this little boy's head, you will see a rather curious thing. It's a braid coming down from above his ear. That is a child lock. I will tell you more about it later. I wanted to keep this picture, <laughs> sounds so professional. I wanted to keep this picture as authentic as possible, which is kind of difficult. But I decided that one way I could do that is by using colors from the pictures from like tomb paintings and stuff. And I ended up changing the headlock to look more like the dude in the picture, which I think is one of the Tutmosis. Tumicides, 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 I don't know. Anyways, so now I'm coloring the little boy's face a very satisfying brown color. Personally, I like this color. It's a, it's a good color. Um, Ian cleaning it up a little bit. So about this headlock, it was a way that they wore their hair. If you remember in the ancient Egyptian world, it was really hot all the time. So it wasn't very comfortable to wear much hair on your head. Most people were actually bald because of this and then they'd wear like wigs and stuff, which, yeah. I mean, I think rich people do that today still kind of, I don't know. <laughs> don't know much about that sort of life, but they used to do it just to kind of stay cool. And um, so little boys, um, when you were really little, I think you might've gone around just kind of normal, but once you got to a certain age, they'd shave off everything from your head except for this one place and it would, grow it into a what they called a youth lock and it kind of signified that you were pretty young um kind of like a child and then when you got older then they'd shave it off and it was kind of like a rite of passage going from being a kid to an adult so here i am trying to get the picture as perfect as i can of course it's like i would argue it's a representation of what it would look like it's not exactly what it looked like it's kind of like a kind of a cartoon you know you see how big his eyes are he wouldn't have eyes that big in real life anyways <laughs> i'm trying to defend myself here um yeah it's, it's it's it was quite the experience drawing this picture i will say um because i was uh figuring it out i found out this really cool way to mix colors like putting the colors together and like squishing it around with this little smudge tool and then I decided that for this picture, I'd use a technique where I'd kind of like sketch on the colors. And I think it's on a different layer. And then I'd kind of smudge them together to create shadows and stuff. And it worked. So if you are new to Photoshop and you want to try and like do stuff like this, it works. It works. I, I've later developed the technique, but... This was all so long ago, I've probably forgotten most of it. Anyways, it was a it was a great experience. Um, put the highlights on the cheeks and stuff. I found that when drawing, if you do like the shadows first, and then you put the highlights on last, it usually works out pretty good. I think you're supposed to start with like the darkest colors or something, but there's all sorts of different techniques, so. Anyways, <laughs> so then I'm going into the eyes, and personally, I think the eyes are like the soul of every painting. You just really want them to look really great, so that you know, makes your picture come alive. That's why I spend a lot of time on them. Um, so I'm going through just kind of blending everything out. You can kind of see the different layers there. And what am I doing now? Um, ah, trying to get the hair right. Man, the hair was a nightmare and it didn't even turn out looking like exactly what I wanted it to. But 
it was okay. It was okay. We survived and we learned from our experience and our struggles. And in the next painting, I think I did a little bit better. I kind of like using the blue as a highlight to the black. I think that looks kind of cool. You can tell me what you think. But I like playing around with the different colors and stuff. Um, what else can I tell you about ancient Egypt? Oh, you see the stuff on his eyes? This is this is a pop question. What is that called? Hey, if you said coal, then you got the answer, right? <laughs> um, I made a video about that where I made authentic Egyptian coal. You can go check it out if you want. But basically coal is um was a black a black mixture that they used on their eyelids to protect them from the sun. And they would paint it on their eyes every day. It wasn't really only makeup, it was actually very versatile because um, not only did it protect their eyes from the harmful glaring rays of the sun, like football players put those black patches under their eyes, it kind of, I don't know exactly how the science of that works, but it does, it <laughs> works, and it makes you feel like there's less glare, but it also, it had a little bit of, like, trace amounts of lead in it, and they survived, <laughs> but what didn't survive was all the pests and, like, bacteria, supposedly, that, like, might have made them sick or something, so it kind of, like, killed that off because it was like lead. <laughs> I don't know how much of this is 100% true, but this is what they say. This is what, they, I'm just, you know, repeating what I've heard. Seems, seems pretty cool though, pretty legit. And yeah, so they all wear that eye makeup everywhere. Makeup was for boys and for girls way back in the day. So I think we're drawing near to the close of this. Um, Thanks for watching. If you like this type of video, then stay tuned because I think I have one more that's gonna come. And then maybe more. Now let's see what happens when I tried to print it. of an alien. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was fun.